Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to create class and parse.com. So in this class we are going to retrieve data from parse backend online server to our app and from app to parse. So it's real easy and simple. Just make sure that you have the same spelling and same uh, characters and uh, class fields all right so let's get started the first thing go to parse.com and select your application if you want to go back I'll go back for you once you open parse.com you will have your application here go to core Then in, uh, in the left side, you have option to add class. Click it. Then you have many options. For example, you have a class for user, installation, rule, product. For this tutorial, we are going to create custom class. Let's name it Twitter. Create. Now, in this class, which is here, it has one, two, three, four columns. Each of them are so important. So we need another columns. To create column, it's real easy. You have each option here. Then you have option to select the type. For example, our first type was string. Let's name it content. Create. As you can see, the column is here. Then the second one will choose a pointer. This pointer will point to another class, which is user class. Let's name it Publish, Publisher, Create Column, drag it here, then as you can see we have done right uh, in here, or let's create another column, which is File. Let's name it photo. All right, the main columns are photo, content, publisher. Photo will handle photos, content will handle the text, description, the publisher will point to user object to retrieve the username all right as you can see we have class user if you don't have class user you can add class then click choose user then create class open user class make sure that you have personal photo of type file username of type string password of type string and email of type string and that's it we are going to point from a twitter class to user class which is username uh, string so when we call this user, it will retrieve username text. If you want to add row, go here and click it. As you can see, nothing in it. Just the ACL, which is the permission for some users to, re to read and write. 
or make it private. Once you have add something such as such that test, you can see that we have a parse add object ID which is unique and gener generated from parse, create it at which is date and time, update it at date and time, ACL read and write. But we haven't we haven't said the publisher ID to point the username and the file is undefined. So to set the publisher ID, go to users, then select any user you want and copy the object ID. Go back to Twitter, to publisher, double click and paste it here. As you can see, there is different from this pointer and this text. This is text only, but this is an object which is pointer to user class to username all right the photo is also object which is a file uploaded um, photos media anything anything of, of media double click To upload the file for example we have this one choose you can see that we have it's not text it's an object you can click it to show the image go back now this is how you can create and edit your Twitter class and parse but if you want to be more advanced you can set the security for example you have specific uh, user for example I have had add it I don't want it to read all right And you can permission any, uh, you can allow any user as you like. Cancel. Then you have more options here to delete column, delete all rows, drop class. To drop a class, you have to write the same spelling of your class and click OK to delete it. Then this is a condition. These conditions are so advanced. So, if you want to target anything, you have a specific condition you can add it from here. This is only about classes and parse. It's real easy and simple. Just make sure that you have same spelling in your Xcode project a class, the same spelling of this column inside your Xcode project. If you haven't uh, make sure that if you don't make sure that the same spelling your app maybe you will crash all right so this is only for this tutorial and the second tutorial we are going to add to retrieve data from parse and show it in the table see you guys